See, Tom, they thought they were the only ones where this happens. What's that? Where it goes like a whole week and nothing gets done <laughs> on your project. Everyone says the same thing, like these projects like just drag out, right? And like, we were clipping along pretty good. Then Tom got pulled into field work and then what's been your newest distraction? Shiny object, it's still not shiny. No, but. So I may have bought a old truck that the intention was to turn it into a burnout truck for Cletus and Cards event in Florida on May 30th. This is so funny because this is where um, this is where I feel like I never fit in with any of the other minimalists. Like I feel like <laughs> they're wearing their LL Bean rain boots, and I'm like, oh, by the way, my husband's like building a hot rod in the garage, and like. My husband's trying to find 110 octane fuel. <laughs> like, anybody out there got any Anyone ideas? else know where to get that? So. First off, I've never actually ever done this before. Like, I've wanted yeah. to, and I've always, like, get so far, and then I talk myself out of it, and then I get far, and, and so I made it public to the internet yesterday, so I kind of can't quit now. Done deal. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're holding up to it. Yeah. So, uh, so literally the only thing we've gotten done on our staircase flipping project since last Friday when we visited with you was I painted the wall. I do not agree with the white. No white. I like the white. <laughs> this and is it looks like, awesome. This is just uh, two coats of primer. But I think you can see the lines. Yeah, you can actually see the lines. <laughs> and actually in person it looks uh, very cool. I think there's a knot. I have to fill this in. There's a knot there and I have to fill the the nail holes, but I think Yeah, I like it. It it actually it looks exactly like what I was hoping for so and it looks nothing like I thought it would <laughs> 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 No, I like it. Yeah, no, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So again, we're gonna put a Counter we have butcher block counter there. So there's still gonna be like some wood and Color, again, grain. it's the cheap butcher block. It's actually yeah. it's actually workbench material mm -hmm. that I'll finish mm -hmm. just like I did our camper. So it's like a third the price of actual butcher block. And that's also why we haven't gone any further is the cabinets that we ordered. We just ordered unfinished cabinets from Home Depot because they were the cheapest. Um, they were delayed in shipping, which we is... got a question mark on the shipping yeah. date. <laughs> So we're waiting for those. When the cabinets get in, I'm trying to have this all done so that when the cabinets come in, Tom can throw together the counter area here that is gonna go there because I just need to get the kids back to like a work space. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm excited to get that all put together, but again, we can't really do anything right, right. now. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> we could be like muddying and taping and fixing the light Show me what it looks like outside. It's gorgeous outside right now. Okay, so, but what I was thinking about was that uh, this time last year, Tom was freaking out because he ordered 200 trees and he thought somebody stole them. And so we were so excited because Tom got an email saying that the trees were gonna be delivered and that's all he wants to do this weekend. We've been watching the forecast. It's gonna be okay out and so we're so excited. We get the email notification. They've been delivered. They should be outside our front door and there we get home and there's they're nowhere to be found or so he pulls it up and it says they've been delivered and someone signed for it even <laughs> and so he's on the phone right now just trying to figure out where all of our trees are so what do the fedex people have to say to you they think that they delivered to someone else and somebody else signed for them and now they're gone so if you guys know where our trees ended up would you please let us know <laughs> If you know what F. Quigley is who signed for them. <laughs> so last weekend we found the trees. When did we find the trees? It was a day later. Dawn was right. I was wrong. Uh, the trees got shipped to a farm that was a few miles away from us. And the place we bought the trees from put my name and phone number on it along with the address. And so they called me and said, hey, we got a couple packages here. So the next day we were able to run up, uh, go pick up all the trees from them. And I started planting it immediately. And so I kind of am looking behind me where they're all at. I don't, you probably can't see cause they're pretty tiny. 
So I put about 230, 240 trees into the ground last weekend. So last spring then, we did track down the trees. They accidentally got delivered to a neighbor about two miles away. Uh, we found them, we planted them, we had an incredibly wet summer, and... I mowed around a couple hundred trees all summer long. Mm -hmm. So... You guys want to know how tall I actually am? <laughs> just, <laughs> just so you know. Tom's 6'2", I'm 5'2". <laughs> um, okay. So we want to go out and uh, we'll just go look at the trees that we planted and see if we think anything's living. It, there's a lot that doesn't I really hope so there's good. a lot of life. All right, so real quick though, I want to show you uh, how awesome Minnesota is right now. It's gorgeous out. No, these tulips. Okay, we moved in four years ago. This was the first thing we saw. One red tulip came up and that's what we've had the last three years. One red tulip. Look at all these tulips. This year, once in a while, the tulips will just like multiply and there's oh, still like a bunch that haven't bloomed. Isn't that what wild? Is, what is all this? Those are lilies. And then right here is a penny bush that's starting to come up. Also, what Tom doesn't know, my next project is oh, to make over the barn. All right, here's the deal. I just need, I need until like the second Oh, week, I know. I need the second week of April. After the second week of April, I'm yours. Yeah. So here's where the oak tree was that we lost last winter. So basically we had a really bad thunderstorm come through with straight line winds. And we lost a, I don't know what, a couple hundred year old oak tree? That's the best we can figure, that the oak tree is about a couple hundred years old. So here long before any of us <laughs> were ever here. And it just kind of, it framed our yard and what we're especially realizing now is that it- There's an enormous hole where it was. It blocked us from the neighbors. And so when you're a quarter mile off the road, you kind of expect that you don't see your neighbors. And now we can see straight into their yards. <laughs> so, which I, it's fine for me. I like people, Tom. <laughs> these are big, these were good sized maples that Tom planted in the fall. Yeah. All right, we're home with the trees and now I am going to start taking them off the trailer and getting them ready to go in the ground. <laughs> no, it, what's, what's silly is we're trying to replace a couple hundred year old oak tree with a something I can plant. <laughs> like a four year old maple tree. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll take a few years, but they're really pretty. Or maybe like a decade. <laughs> and they look really good. So, and the guy was telling us we've normally bought bald and burlapped trees, but these are a little bit these different. He, he, he grew them in a bag and he said, well, it's like a fabric bag. He said that you get like 70% more root growth in the bag versus bald and burlap. I don't actually know. I've only planted bald and burlap. And they're alive, which is good because they were extremely expensive. And now we'll show you the new trees that we planted. Well, so what's the first row, Tom? Uh, first row looks like a bunch of stick sticks. We got looks like Charlie Brown, Brown Christmas trees. One, two, three, <laughs> maybe a couple down there. I'd say what are they though? Of these are dead. They're pine trees. They're little pine trees that Tom planted. So one, this guy is really crooked. We can straighten that out. Snap. <laughs> yeah. So I think if you look down. I think we got like the five. whole row. I think, yeah, I think we have like five that are still living. So, um, that's definitely a fail. <laughs> like these companies would resend the trees if we like send in our label and stuff. But like, do you want to get trees and plant the same trees from the same company that you had failure with? Like, that's always the thing too. Like, is it really worth it? We're probably just going to buy new trees locally and just go from there. These are autumn blaze maples. Or no, no, they're sugar maples. So these are good for tapping and making maple syrup, which we have a friend that lives around us who does do that. We're so not planning on doing this though. We won't do it ourselves. We no. just want privacy. This one I think is dead. Yeah, that one doesn't look very good. This one, one over here one looks, looks good. good. Which last year, these all were doing really well. Which yeah. maples, maples grow really well where we're at. Yeah, they're pretty easy to grow here. Um, no, that, that one, one looks dead too. Yeah, like every other we're going. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say the maples are... I'd say like a 90% oh, success see, rate. This looks dead on top. But, but it's growing down below. Down there. Probably like a 90% success rate with the sugar maples. Yeah. They're just a slow, slowing, slower growing tree, so 
Now these, these were what we were really hoping would take off. <laughs> these are the poplars. They're a fast growing oh, see, tree. Look, look at this though. Down below it is it? Remember, so we looked at this one a while back. Mm-hmm. And we were like, oh, that's dead. But come look over here. We got two, two buds coming off of it. Yeah. So they just needed a little more time. But these are supposed to grow like 12 like, to 14 plus feet a year. Yeah. So we were like, okay, cool. That's like instant privacy. They're supposed to just like grow like weeds. So that was a little- that Right, little we know that they're su So our understanding of shade tree poplars is they're kind of garbage trees is yep. what we've learned. Like 30 year lifespan. Yeah, grow super fast and die. We just want them to grow really fast and get big and block us from the road. So mm -hmm. then our better trees they can grow. Can mature and grow, and then when the poplars go, the poplars go. Yeah. So. So that's our long game. That's the hope. Yeah. They're kind of like the perfect millennial tree, though, because we're like, we want, we want to. We want it now, and we don't want a yeah. huge commitment. <laughs> yep. Maybe that's how they should market them. <laughs> market poplars to millennials. To millennials, right? Did so I'm... if they grow 12 feet this year, I'm gonna be like giddier than a guy doing a burnout. <laughs> We have two rows here of poplars. Two rows of poplars, shade tree poplars. And I think there was, is like 200? There are 200 of these. Yeah. So what do you think we're at? Like maybe, what, 35%? Oh. Is this one of the poplars? <laughs> just jumped out of the ground. How did this one grow? <laughs> now the boys and I stole this tree from the field the other day. Yeah, it was growing in a place it didn't need to be, so. Well, what's wild is it was growing on the edge of our field and it it just started that's that's like 3 years old from from nothing yep. to 3 years old. Yeah. It's pretty crazy so how I fast. I found it and I thought, "You know what? Let's dig it up and throw it in the, in the front yard." Yeah. No, it looks good. So we just put it here. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you thinking with these poplars? Like maybe 35% of them made it? Yeah, it's not good. Like a third. And we ordered these online, the poplars, from a site. And then after we ordered them, there someone emailed and they were like, uh, that website actually gets really poor reviews for their poplar trees. And we were like, darn it, we ordered 200 of them. Yeah, we we'd probably agree with that. Yeah, so we would not recommend this site. Uh, we actually found some locally grown that on Craigslist or Marketplace or something. Yep. So I think we're we're gonna get some of those and try and fill in the gaps of the ones that didn't make it, and just see if we have better luck. So the funny thing, the first year we moved in, I mean we had no idea what was planted anywhere on our farm, and so there was like this big like bush of like brush. It looked just like, like dead growth. yeah. And the rest of the farm was always like kept up very neat. So we're like, yeah. why would they leave in the middle of the lawn? The garden wasn't here. Yep. Like, why would they just have this like pile of junky brush there? Yep. Well, I didn't know until a friend came over. She's like, oh my goodness, you have asparagus. And so yep. that's actually what we centered the garden around then um, when we were building it. And so, so we did that and now they're not growing. <laughs> well, yeah, so that end was the established patch for Tom is. And then over here, so you can see it now. I never knew how asparagus grew. <laughs> um, so you can see these spears coming up out of the ground. Yeah, they just push up on. And then the... here's, here's one too. Um, so it's kind of cool how it grows up. Those are weeds we got to pull. Oh, okay, I was gonna yeah. say they don't. Oh that, yeah, and there's one right in front of you. So now this we just planted last year. So this first year, okay, asparagus is a big investment because this first year now we don't. <laughs> We There's don't pick it here. at oh, all. Really? You yeah. Don't pick it at all. So normally, if this was a mature bed, you would snap that off and we could eat that. But <laughs> this year, we don't do anything with it. Next year, we can harvest it for two weeks and then you let it grow out. The year after that, for four weeks, Seriously? and then you can let it and then you let it grow out. So the new here, stuff we here, planted is actually uh, you doing. Eat any of it? You're gonna have to tell the kids because they're gonna I, come snap all this off. Yeah. No. Yeah, I will have to tell them not to pick it. So this is our asparagus bed. The the stuff that was here is just a little bit slow coming this year, but um, I have to believe that it's gonna, there's just a few. And then over here are our strawberries. They need to be weeded too, but um, this is all strawberries. They don't need to be inside of our garden, but it's just kind of happened. You can see where the kids have been playing over here. Yeah, they were zip tied, they must have broke. So, so we've got some work to do out here. I, I mean, 
really we again. don't we always have to work in it. yeah really we don't plant until like memorial day weekend like today is gorgeous it's 70 and sunny out but we don't have enough of those days consistently where I mean, you can plant stuff now and you can plant stuff Memorial Day weekend and it all catches up by like for the 4th of July So we don't worry too much about planting right now, but it would be nice to get um, some of these buds cleaned up a little bit You guys have been on the hunt for something. What was it? <laughs> and you found them, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're way up there Did you find a nice cozy little spot? That's what I was saying when they were laying on the only thing. Yeah, I was naming the kids. The nature around here is just unreal. <laughs> okay. So I clean it. I've been cleaning this out every day, except I missed one day. So this is two days worth of construction. I'm not even exaggerating. This is two days worth of construction. And what else happened in two days, Don? <laughs> We've got robin's eggs. Yeah, now I can't clean it out. <laughs> now you have to. I don't look look the one. Oh. I want to look. This, I look. This is so tiny. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, there's two. Is the other one? Oh, teeny. Oh, teeny. Oh, teeny. Well, uh, that concludes our nature tour, I guess. <laughs> of the life and death on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, every day is, uh, yeah, there's just, I don't know. You know, growing up on a farm though, it is, uh, it is pretty cool. I think I took for granted how much you see like things live and grow and um, yeah, it's always, I don't know, it's kind of fun. So I'm glad our kids can have that experience too. Although we have to train them to work harder in the garden this year because- um, Or just in general. <laughs> in general, yeah. Yeah, I think Tom and I did the bulk of the work last year, so I think um, that's yeah. been one of our goals for this year is to <laughs> have a little more help from them. But all right, well, uh, we'd love to know uh, what you're up to this weekend, and are you planting in your garden? Is it time for that, or do you have to wait a little bit longer like us yet? Um, any tips for my asparagus, my legacy bed that's not coming up so well yet? That works. That's me not, a little I was going to tell you that side did look a little dry, didn't you think? The ground. Yeah, do you think like maybe just, just need some water? That, that part looked a little dry. You know, and after it rains, the asparagus would always jump out of the ground. So uh -huh. you could yeah, be right. We might need to get yeah. a little bit of water. So. Yeah, if, if almost, if we had like an easy way to water the garden. I know, if only you had to like just turn on a switch and it just watered that it. That would be cool. Yeah, be cool. Hmm, we'll have to think about that. If you guys got any ideas, let us know. So let us know what you're up to. It's always fun to read what you have going on. And yeah, we'll look forward to visiting with you again. Actually, coming up on Sunday. I think we're gonna do a Q&A on Sunday. Diana gets one more week of maternity leave, so. Does she really? I know, it's, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> Only the second child. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we'll do a Q&A on Sunday, so if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below, and we'll try and tackle them. Sure. <laughs> Tom's nervous, no. I'm thinking about horses, sorry. Oh, yeah, he wants to get back to his truck. <laughs> All right, we love you, we'll visit with you again soon. Bye-bye.